Didi, I'm just curious, you know, it's a while probably since you've seen the Republic of Ireland play. Um, you saw them several times with us here under Martin O'Neill. So what, what do you think of uh, the early days of the Mick McCarthy version? On tonight's showing, I struggled to find many positives apart from the result. Um, we see it in a minute. Denmark should have been 3 or 4 nil up before Duffy scored. And we picked, collectively, we picked Duffy out as man of the match before he scored. So you've got a centre-back who's man of the match and at the same time, as I said, we see it in a minute, five, six, seven clear-cut chances for Denmark. So that shows that things haven't been right today. And, you know, you talk about the ability with the ball. Where I was disappointed today, I think they, they were second best for most of the night because every second ball went to, went to Denmark. That's communication, that's awareness. Um, and when the balls drop, they've been chasing the game for 90 minutes. And if you do defend for large parts of the game, what happens is that when you do have possession, nobody's showing for the ball because, you know, everybody's kind of struggling. You've been chasing the ball for large parts. You go long again and the ball comes back straight away. And, and this is what happened tonight. So I, th I was disappointed out of possession today because I think they, they weren't smart enough. I don't think they were organised well enough in the middle of the park, especially, you know, it's Glenn Whelan's responsibility to tell Horahan and, um, and Hendrik, where he wants them to make sure you, you, you don't get these, these little passes. There were times in the second half where they had eight, nine players behind the ball and still two, three passes later, Denmark had a clear-cut chance to score. And that shouldn't happen. Yeah. And uh, they had a lot of uh, blocks, a lot of last-ditch defending. The, the back four, the two centre-backs especially, done tremendously well. But I think out of possession, they've got to be better. Not just being aggressive, I think you've got to be smart as well. Um, and then in possession, obviously, we know the, they showed they can do it when they went behind. They tried to play, got that free kick. It was a nice little move by Coleman and Church, which got the free kick in the first place. Um, but I think in the future, I think the worst thing they can do now is say, well, we've got character, we've got resilience, because you knew they, they've got Well, we always had that. Exactly, exactly. And so I think the worst thing would be now, you know, Chibrati, you just have to beat them. Whichever way you, you have to be, then you've got 10 points. But I think when you move forward, then I think in the next two games, then are Switzerland and Georgia, without looking too far ahead, yeah. they've got to be better than tonight. But you know, th those points you make about, like I suppose that we were playing the 10th best side in the world, a side who went out to Croatia on penalties in the last 16 of the World Cup. Like they're, they're a decent side, and to be like, you're going to have to do a lot of defending. Like Duffy was doing his job, yeah? Yeah, no, no, but this is not a team that takes, you know, this is a team usually struggles when they have to break teams down. But they did today, or tonight. They had, they had numerous chances. I think where Mick McCarthy has to work on the most, I think over the last two or three years, I feel they lacked a little bit of, or they lost a little bit of belief. Because yes, they've got one or two players who are better than the ones in the Ireland camp. But is this a team that's in all full of better than Ireland? I don't think so. So I think what they've lost in the last few years, they started to fear teams. And that was always something Ireland never had. Whoever they played, you know, we went to Germany, got a draw two, three years ago or four years ago, uh, beat Italy in the Euros. So they never fear teams. And I just feel that even though they've done well against George, so they've got that, that win against Gibraltar, belief is, I think, what they need. You know, if that team started to believe a little bit more that they're better with the ball, they can defend, we know that. Um, I think there's no reason think, to believe think, that. Think is that going, understandable, I, though? Do yeah, I, I, I think Mick is going to look at that and say we can improve an awful lot from that performance. Mm. And Didi's right. Out of possession, there was too many gaps where Ericsson was threading brawls through past our midfield to guys who could just turn on it and run at our back four. So that's got to be organised better. And then when we have the ball, not to give it away cheaply like we did tonight. Hendrick was poor on the ball. So was Robbie Brady poor on the ball. We weren't surprised when Robbie was substituted yeah. because he, he, he wasn't himself tonight. Now he's maybe lacking that, that uh, game uh, fitness and, yeah. and playing games and so forth. He wasn't sharp. He, he was poor in possession tonight. Uh, Harahan was poor in possession tonight. So there's lots of things that Mick will look at and say, OK, Great platform to go forward, but we need to improve in certain things.